and also a review of this tank. So this tank is the Solo Desktop Aquarium. And as you can see, it's got pretty awesome lights and a lid with an opening for feeding. So I want to talk about first the likes and dislikes that I, that I basically enjoyed about this tank. So anyway, we'll start with the likes. I really like the uh, lighting system, which is pretty awesome. The size of the aquarium was happy for me because it fits right on this, this desk right here. Now with the settings, I'll show you all the really cool settings that it came with. So it changes colors from orange to light blue, which is like a sky blue purple we have the clear As you can see it's just like a white sand yellow and we got the dark sky blue so another thing I wanted to show you on the pad which is a uh, really really cool as well so you can actually set features and they will they will change automatically throughout the day when you want to turn the aquarium off which won't affect your filter in any way there's just an off switch which turns the power off so with the settings here you have a daylight setting if you want it to be um, sunny with with clouds periodically We'll try to just give you the gist of it. Yeah, so this will change gradually throughout the day. The next setting I'd like to show you is the evening setting, which is a little bit darker, and it actually looks really, really good in the bedroom. Or basement. <laughs> Felix wants to Felix wants to see what we're doing over here. So now this is this is my favorite setting. This is the uh, stormy weather setting, and this one changes actually quite frequently. So I'll just show you that here. So this gives you a little bit of everything. It gives you a little bit of that darkness with the clouds and whatnot which is also sort of like the nighttime setting. But this one will change a lot more. <laughs> All right, and so for the final setting, which is the nighttime setting, you wanna to go to bed and you don't want too much light. You wanna be able to sleep it's almost like a moonlight sort of deal. I'll just show you that. So this is the final setting and it's, as you can see it's really dark but you still got that ambient you can look inside and see what your fish are doing and whatnot. Alright. So now I want to talk about my dislikes about this tank. And there were a few, but they were actually very important ones. So number one, a lot of the times you buy these setups and just say you're a new fish owner, you don't know all the uh, things that you might need and require to take care of that fish. So what I didn't like is there's no heater that came with this tank, and which is a really big bummer because you need heat to, to help with the uh, many fish survive and maintain their metabolism another thing it didn't come with is a thermometer to check temperatures which isn't a very big deal because you can find them very cheap but my biggest disadvantage with this tank was the um, the filtration unit now I have a different filtration in the unit I'm actually using a top fin internal 10 gallon filter now with a lot of aquariums people don't understand that okay i'm going to get a five gallon filter for a five gallon tank 
Now that that is great, but the thing that you're not seeing is you're gonna end up doing water changes within every week and maybe a couple of days. Whereas if you find a filter that's two times the power or even more, you're doing less water changes. And not only that, you're keeping the water as clear as possible and very, very good for your fish. So the second thing I didn't like, I actually didn't really like the fake plants because with a lot of fish, their fins are very, very fragile. And I don't know if you see it on him, his fins are completely out and whatnot because I've switched to live plants, which are softer in the texture and whatnot. I did like that the, that the tank came with gravel, which was really, really cool. And like I said, I like the touch pad and whatnot. But with the filtration unit, there were many problems with it. So I'll show you one thing that I didn't like. All right. Let's go over here. So this is the filtration unit that came with the tank. And as you can see, it looks like this. So when it's put together, just get it together here for you. When it's put together, it'll look something like this. Now with the filtration cartridge, this is the number one thing I did not like. I don't have one on me, but it comes in a plastic casing about yay high. Now, with the casing, you just, it tells you in the instructions, just put the whole thing together, pop it in your aquarium, and then ensemble it. So anyway, when you put this in the aquarium, what they don't tell you is that the bag of carbon fiber is inside this plastic casing. Now, you're supposed to remove the bagging to have that carbon media in the filtration unit. And so basically you ensemble the thing, put it in, and you're not filtering water. What's happening is the water is hitting the bag, and now you get a bunch of dirt and grime and all the stuff from the aquarium gets clogged into this thing. So as I figured it out, I pulled it, I pulled it out within the first week and then took care of that. But when I had this thing together properly and set up in this aquarium, I found that the water just wasn't clean enough. <laughs> like it, I was doing water changes so frequent that like you, you might as well buy a new filter, which I did. So if I were to rate this aquarium, I would probably rate it at, I'd say a solid six because of that. <laughs> but other words, it's actually really, really good. Um, I did read online that people, um, really disliked the uh, the lighting system only because of the corrosion so I don't know if you've seen this but I actually had this in my aquarium as well where it has started and this is why I'm giving it a lower rating all right actually I'll leave the lights on because maybe you'll be able to see it a bit better Now, I don't know if you can see, but that is rust, and the corrosion has started in with the lighting system. And a lot of people have said that, oh, I'll have to replace this aquarium, the, the lighting, well, the whole aquarium within a year or two, which is true. A lot of these um, systems, they're not, they're not water resistant. And that's another thing I don't like, because as the water rises up, precipitation it's gathered on the lid and it goes back into the aquarium like so and when that wrecks your lights that's that's the main aspect of this thing is you want a pretty little light for your your room you want to have your fish comfortable and happy in there and these fish do need lights a lot of them do because keep keeping them in the darkness all day it isn't fair and not only that they might not be able to find their food and later on die so anyway, thanks for watching. This is my review of the Solo Desktop Aquarium. We'll get some more shots in here. One thing I did want to add actually before ending off on this video is the, um, the fact that you can actually install 
these lights yourself. So if anything does go wrong and you want to keep your lid, you don't want to lose it, or you want to build a new lid and then install these lights, they come on a strip, okay? So if you were to buy a scraper from the dollar store, you can actually scrape and remove this lighting system. And then when you buy the new one, depending on what you want, the, the one that I'm rocking right now is Current, and it's obviously the one that came with the aquarium system. Now Current is from the US, but you can order their products online, but there are other products basically exactly like this that come with a setup where you have a remote and you're able to change through the settings. And basically you would install this, you could buy a silicone that is safe for your fish and then install that around. Now it might not be waterproof again, but at least it'll last you again for, for a few years and then you can remove it and then change it again. So anyway, thanks for watching, and this was the review of the Solo Desktop Aquarium.